Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood Ubikus here, back again with another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth video. I'm gonna do... Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna play. Um, I'm kinda tired. Let's do... Zazel. We're gonna go to the dark room, because I want to. There's the seed. Yeah, let's just do dark room. Uh, get that on the post-it note. It's a, it's a damn shame that my Zazel post-it note is basically not even close to finished which is weird because of course I had everything finished but the uh, the post no bug is uh sure is something huh suck him in all right ooh I don't know how this works at all probably doesn't <laughs> probably works the same way that epic fetus does which is not at all which is unfortunate I do really like Head of the Keeper. It's a really cool item. Um, it's just really... I don't know, man. It sucks that it doesn't have more synergies, because it's really cool. There we go. So, uh, this space for item is honestly really good. I have never seen this haunt. Okay. So, Black Champion haunt. I don't know what you do. Probably... Oh, you spit spiders. Oh, good. Because... I was wondering to myself, how how could they have made the haunt any more bullshit? Turns out, uh, shoot spiders. <laughs> okay. Alright. No, just, yeah. If somebody told me, hey, in Afterbirth, the haunt can spawn, it can spawn as a champion uh, that shoots spiders, I probably would have been like, alright, I guess I, uh, I'm not buying Afterbirth. <laughs> I think I think that's how that would boil down that interaction. I, I don't I don't like the haunt. I really don't like spiders. Combining the two just sounds nightmarish. Thank God I'm a Zazel, because if I wasn't a Zazel, God knows how awful that would have been. All right. Ah. So I, I do think um, the space for item, which I always forget the name of, uh, I know I picked it up a minute ago, but I do always forget the name of it. It's cool as hell, though. It's honestly really neat. I despise this room. I like this room. It's really cool. It's honestly a good space for item. I think a lot of people uh, have vastly... Okay. Uh, vastly misrated this item. God, what's the name though? <laughs> is it is it like decoy or something? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh, the point is, the item does like a hundred damage or something insane like that uh, to all enemies within a fairly large AOE. Um, and the cool thing is, it's it's treated similarly to punching bag, except that it's much more consistent in its nature. Uh, yeah, let's just fight the boss. I'm sure we'll be alright. So, yeah. So where where Punching Bag is like 50-50 on if the enemies are going to go forward or not, um, this... Uh, best Friend? Is that the name of it? I think so. Best Friend is consistent. Um, if they're near it, they will go for it. It has like a taunt, almost. Okay. I know where I am. I figured it out. Um, and as you saw, it nearly one shot Blighted Ovum, which is pretty dang good. I mean, Blighted Ovum as a boss doesn't have a lot of health, but nearly one shotting it is still really impressive, to be honest. I've gone every wrong direction so far. Or every right direction, depending on your definition. You know what? I'm not even going that way. Fuck that. Okay. Yeah, this is not a situation that I like to be in. Ah! I, I keep trying to, like, get in as deep as possible before dropping it, and it just keeps hitting me. Stigmata's great. Happy about it. And by great, I mean it's, I mean it's fine. Hey, we got two syringe. One away from my favorite transformation of, uh, of Afterbirth. It might be my favorite. I'm honestly not sure. There's a lot of cool ones. 
Uh, you know what? I'll pick this up and I'll flop him down right there. This is not what I wanted. It's the opposite, in fact. Didn't want hundreds of spiders, but... I guess that's what I got. But yeah, so new transformations in Afterbirth are... Let me, let me think about this. I hate this game. <laughs> um... Sucks so much ass. So the new transformations are uh, the mom transformation, spun, which I really like. Blood of the Martyrs, great. Um, the mom spun, uh, Bob, uh, Leviathan, Seraphim. Those are both, th those two, Leviathan and Seraphim, are actually really cool. Also, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. It's probably like Seraphim. Probably not, but I always horribly pronounce things. Although maybe that's just because I don't hear the way, like, I, I never hear the correct way to pronounce shit. <laughs> like, this is a, I think this is just an American problem. Where... You know, some somebody from somewhere else outside of America, some non Euro someone of non European de descent, uh, says, you know, corrects you on how to pronounce their name or whatever, and then you say it exactly the same way, and they're like, no, 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 it's it's like this, and you're like, that's what I said. No, 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 no. it's like this. <laughs> um, like, oh, that's right. There was this there was this kid in my. Well, it was, it was middle school and high school. I knew him from grade school because I was in this thing called Extend. Which was just kind of like the place where the overachievers went. Um, that was it. I mean, it's not a... Oh, fuck. Not a big deal. But, uh, not... You know, I, I was an overachiever in grade school and then it all went downhill. Uh, but... His name... If I'm not mistaken, oh fuck, is Faisal. I believe that's the way to pronounce it. Um, but I learned it as Fossil, and I called him Fossil, and then somebody was like, hey, no, it's Faisal. And I was like, uh, he told me it was Fossil. And. Then they were like, no, 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 it's Faisal. And then, you know, he says, no, it, I mean, it is Faisal, but, I mean, your pronunciation's fine. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll just call, keep calling you Fossil. But then, right, then I was like, yeah, but is that actually how to pronounce it? Like, what, what's the real way? And he's like, yeah, it's it's like Faisal. And I'm like, okay, I'll, Faisal. And it's like, no, that, that wasn't right. No, but I, I'm saying Faisal. <laughs> I'm... I'm saying it, and the thing is, that's apparently a common name for. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the uh, ethnicity. I forgot what it was. Brown. How about that? Um, that's not racist. Shut up. I don't remember the specific ethnicity, but the point is, that's a fairly common name, and it is pronounced not Faisal, not Fossil, but like a mix of the two. It's like in between, and it's really not a thing that I know how to pronounce at all. So every time that I say Faisal, it's like, no, that's not right. No, no. And I'm like, but that's what I'm hearing you say. <laughs> I, I I literally said exactly what you said. There's no way there's any difference in the two statements. Or in the two the two pronunciations. But apparently I'm just wrong. What a damn shame, huh? But that's always how it is. It's not like it's it's pretty much every name. Every non-European name, us Americans have some troubles, you know. We're not good at the whole names of the fucking, I don't know. I was going to say Chinaman, and then I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't go with that. I'm already, like, seeming slightly racist. Oh, come on. Just by saying brown, so, I'm, you know, I probably shouldn't say Chinaman. That seems like you know, ill-advised sort of, sort of decision to make. I mean, I said it anyway. But that's just for clarity's sake, of course. I'm not... I'm not saying it, you know, in the way that it doesn't matter. It's fine. I'm sure... I'm sure nobody thinks I'm racist.
I've known racists. Quite a few of them. Turns out, the... I don't know. I, it's weird saying upper middle class. How about just middle class? The middle class suburbs of a big city, turns out, a lot of the people that are there, one, are white, and two, are slightly racist. Not like, you know, go into KKK meetings or anything, but more along the lines of, like, uh, preconceived notions about people based on race. How about that? That's generally what it is. It's not like they're trying to actually just kill non-whites or anything like that, but it's more like a... You know. You know! You know what I'm talking about. You understand me. Fuck, dude. I keep getting hit in the dumbest ways. I'm not happy about it at all. My damage is actually really good, though. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. Okay, I will absolutely take safety pin. It's quite a good item. These kind of suck, but... Uh, I'm gonna take Book of Belial, because um, I have read in multiple sources that Book of Belial, in Afterbirth too, it's it still works in Afterbirth, uh, but it was a it was a Waddle K thing. Not Waddle K. Uh, I guess just Waddle. God, Waddle K is fucking. That's that's World of Warcraft. Um, Wrath of the Lamb, though. There was a thing, apparently, where if you're holding Book of Belial, fuck it, whatever, and you have the Blood of the Martyr, you get a 1.5. Damage 1.5 times damage multiplier. Apparently, that exists here in Afterbirth. And I don't know. Fuck it. Sure. Why not, man? I don't know. It's really hard for me to tell. I'm sure if I uh, if I installed that m that mod that everybody seems to be dick riding today. Um, well, pretty much since Afterbirth came out, people have been dick riding it, but. Uh, the, the mod called Missing HUD, where it displays your stats, it actively updates your stats on the left side. That takes the fun out of Isaac, alright? I don't want to hear you motherfuckers using that mod and bitching about the stopwatch nerf in the same breath, alright? That shit's hypocritical as shit. That's more of a joke, I'm being slightly facetious, but at the same time I do find it weird. I just find it weird. I don't know. Fuck, dude. I hate bonies. Sorry, ivories. I hate ivories. See, guys, I can't be racist. I hate whites. So That means I can't be racist. Because that's not racism. Because reverse racism doesn't real. Only feels reals. By the way, uh... That is my least favorite thing in the entire universe. When fucking people who claim to be progressive or whatever say reverse racism doesn't exist. It's not a real thing. Well, f of course not. It's racism. It doesn't matter who you're being racist towards. It's racism. Uh, racism is prejudice plus power. You can't be racist to the power holders. So how can you not be racist to white people? <laughs> They're not all powerful in the entire fucking universe, you dummies. Um, so I'm gonna take Diplopia. I'm gonna buy this. Ah, oh, damn it! I was hoping it was higher fun. Okay. I need. I desperately, desperately need a fucking Spirit Heart, man. You fires. And go suck a fuck, alright? No, this is not a good situation. Based on the damage I've been taking, <laughs> that room was a uh, worst case scenario. Oh, speaking of worst case scenario, we fucking lost, boys. Oh, it's fucking ogre, dude. I did it. I'm the best. 
Oh, shit. Oh, God. You know, Krampus. No! Oh, it's a black heart. Oh, my God, we won. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I'll double that shit. Absolutely. Goddamn lootly, I will. Woo! Ah. St st I hate this enemy! That enemy. What the f- One of the most obnoxious enemies in the entire game. Honestly. The thing that's so obnoxious about it is that if your range is low, hey, look at me, my range is low, I am a Zazel, you can't not get hit. It's guaranteed damage. It honestly is. Which is so stupid. I mean, I understand it's really hard to program the specifics of homing shots to, like, work properly and also not, like, you know, the, the difficulty is in making it, um, not increase in speed as it gets closer on the target, as it closes in on the target, right? That's a hard thing to not include. Because otherwise, it just... Oh, fuck. Yeah, no thanks. Um, yeah, like, proximity has to matter, right? Otherwise, it just doesn't work? I'm trying to think of the ways to articulate why it doesn't work, and I, I'm failing. So I apologize. But I promise you, somewhere deep in the back of my brain, I have worked out the solution. Now it's a matter of... Uh, shoving that solution down the pipeline and eventually out of my mouth so you guys can witness the solution and witness my greatness, of course. But I'm struggling. <laughs> I apologize. So I'm just gonna move on from that. If I can figure it out at some point, I'll, I'll you know, I'll bring it back. I'll remind you. It's alright. Don't worry. I won't leave you hanging. But I'll, I'll be real with you. I don't know if I'll be able to articulate it at all. What am I even talking about? Hello? No, actually, what did I just do? Oh, fuck off. Ugh. I don't think we're I don't think we're uh, fit for dark room right now. I'll be honest. Doesn't feel like a dark room run. <laughs> um And I'm not only saying that because I have a Jera. Now that is approximately uh 96% of why I'm saying it. Oh god, I hate how difficult it is to just move and nudge. Alright. Um, but it's not all of it. You know? 96%'s not 100%, you know? So. You know. For some reason, I forgot what floor I was on. It's fine. I'm exhausted. Have I mentioned that before? I'm very tired. Oh, that's right. I was gonna say, uh, as as usual, as is a uh, frequent occurrence. Um, no, I don't, I don't appreciate this one bit. As is a frequent occurrence, Lord of the Rings was on TV, and I f oh, uh, I hope this works. I feel like it won't because I don't have. Real brim. Oh, damn it. Damn it! So. Uh, now I'm sad. Because I really wanted to show off that synergy. I'm. Pardon me? Did you just leap to a, a location that I literally hadn't gone to at all? Is that what I was witnessing? You, just, you went to a, a location that I haven't been to? Against your coding? Just to f fuck with me? Anyway. Um, Lord of the Rings was on TV, uh, yesterday, okay, I got confused because you didn't spawn fly. This is just not a good situation that I'm in. This is not a good boss rush. Yesterday was Fellowship, today was Two Towers and Return of the King. Uh, I think they were actually two different TV channels, but doesn't matter. Point is, I watched all three Lord of the Rings recently on TV, and, uh, Damn, dude, Lord of the Rings is fucking nice, dude. Lord of the Rings is just... Fuck. 
My anus. Damn it, dude. That, this is very upsetting to me, to be. What is your health at? How are you four-fifths of the total health? Some more shit. All right, let me get back to my story. I was trying to talk about Lord of the Rings, which is one of the things I nerd out about, like, immensely. It's absolutely one of my most favorite things. Um... But the thing I like the most about Lord of the Rings, one of the many things I, I like a lot, but probably my favorite thing overall, is the music. The mu music and sound design used in the movies. And obviously the cinematography is gorgeous as well. But the, the music usage is bar none, like, the best in movies at all, I think. It's incredible. So... It, it has a lot of, like, basic concepts when it comes to the music usage. Um, the most basic of which being, like, hey, use music to portray emotion that isn't actually spelled out in the scene. That's simple, right? So in a, in a sequence where the main character is supposed to feel anxious, maybe have music that has an anxious vibe to it. You know, how it, it maybe the music builds up to something, but you never get to the thing. There's never a conclusion. It's just building up during this incredibly anxious situation. Make the audience anxious. Aha! Make the audience anxious, and they'll think that the character is anxious because they're relating to them, right? That's a very basic concept. And Lord of the Rings uses it, but he used it so fucking well. I died! I am so bad at dodging right now. I am st I'm too tired. Let me just talk about this, though. This is a thing that I'm very happy about, very passionate about. Um, but, for example, in Fellowship of the Ring, where, uh, they, so Frodo's been stabbed by the Witch King, who we don't know is the Witch King yet, but he's the Witch King, and he, Frodo gets, you know, carried by, uh, what's her name, Arwen? Yeah, Arwen, he gets carried by her, she, like, runs away from the Nazgul, it's super intense and crazy cool, and then they get swept away in water, which... There was also cool stuff involved in that, and I'll explain that in a second, because I'm going to go off on a wild tangent. Um, but, yeah, and then Frodo passes out, and then we wake up with Frodo uh, while he's in a, in a bed in Rivendell. In that scene, when he's in Rivendell, right, um, the music that's going... In fact, I believe there's no music. I'm pretty sure there's no music in the part where he's actually waking up. He's just kind of, you know, getting his surroundings. And then once he's awoken, or, or awaken, as Day9 would say, then he leaves the room, and then you, you start getting some music to, like, set, set the mood. Uh, and he's talking to Sam, because Sam is there. I'm trying to remember the exact scene. Basically, he's talking to Sam about something. And I can't remember it right now for the life of me. Oh, God, I saw this yesterday. Um... Yeah, basically what happened was they were talking, and Frodo was, like, worried. He was concerned, and it's like, this is crazy outside of the Shire. And he's, like, really concerned, and it has really kind of this uncertain sort of tone in the music going in the background while he's talking to Sam in this very uncertain tone where he, he, doesn't, he doesn't know if the decision to leave the Shire was the right one, stuff like that. And the music is kind of somber, kind of like this, but, you know, not sad, just kind of almost apathetic, um, and then Sam starts talking and saying, like, very positive things to Frodo, and as he does that, you get classic Lord of the Rings, like, very positive, kind of full orchestra, beautiful music while he's talking and building up Frodo's confidence, and it's this great character moment, and the music fits it really well, like, really, really well, and it, there's tons, tons of examples of stuff like that all throughout all the movies. Um, but the thing that I was going to talk about with the water and stuff, because you see that they don't want to, like, go into the water. They're afraid of the water. Well, if you don't know, um, the reason that the Nazgul's horses are going in water is no, like, superstitious thing. Nothing like that. The only reason that they don't want to touch water is because horses 
despise water. Not as a thing, not because it's like, oh, I hate being wet. Like rivers, creeks, they avoid it because they can't see the bottom. So when they're going to step, and they don't have like the capacity, I guess, to be like, oh, this is a creek, it will be shallow. And so a lot of horses, when they arrive to a creek, even if it's like one inch deep all the way through, like barely even it could be considered a creek, it's just like a water flow, right? A horse gets to that, and they'll just be like, uh-uh, I ain't crossing that shit. And it, it, it's a really, really interesting thing, specifically in that scene, because Arwen's horse goes fine across the, the creek. Um, and that kind of goes, it fits with the theme that the elves are these very, um, they're well, uh, I guess well trained. They're very, there's a word for it, but, um, yeah, basically they're, they're well trained. They, they don't, they're not like rule breakers. They're not people who just like fly off the cuff or anything like that. They kind of just, they're very, if I could remember the word, it would be so much better than what I'm describing right now, but I can't remember the word for the life of me is bothering me, but it makes sense that the horse would be trained to be like, Hey, you know, trust me, you know, trust me as the, as the rider. I know what I'm doing. I would not lead you to do something horrible. Right. But with the Nazgul, it's like, I don't know about this, man. This is a, I'm just a horse, you know? Like, you're my rider, but I'm just a horse. You're not an elf. I don't know. You didn't teach me. I don't know. This was a weird tangent. I'm just tired. I'm just rambling at this point, but thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, my eyes are honestly, like, closing. <laughs> I'm struggling to keep them open. It's a weird episode. It's definitely a weird episode. I should have recorded this earlier in the day. I didn't, though. It's okay, though. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's okay. I was going to say something. Again, I'm just exhausted. Then I'm just rambling. Um, thanks for watching. Bye, I guess. See ya. Peace.